All right, I managed to get a couple of videos from a couple of Emiratis who sent it to me and some new footage which I thought would be worth watching. So without wasting time, let me share with you the videos. So the first one is, uh, wait, let me put the sound, uh, let me put the sound on mute because you can have copyright uh, issues. Okay, so this is the first one. Look at the flood. I mean, this is a road and the guy is on top of a bus. I don't know where this is, but he is stuck in the middle. I don't know. Uh, look, look at this. Just let, let me pause. Look at this. They are stuck on top of a bus. Oh my goodness. And I don't know if they are getting any assistance. This is unbelievable. This is seriously unbelievable. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it. They are on top of a bus in the middle of the road. Okay, so this is one. The second one is, uh, this is going airport tunnel road. The guy is talking. It's in the airport tunnel road and the entire tunnel is flooded and he's requesting people not to come because the, this is a tunnel. Huh? By the way, this is a tunnel. See, look at the ship container uh, and uh, ship container on top of a truck. This is the airport tunnel and uh, here is talking about other people who are stuck. And this is, I think, today. And uh, people are just stuck. Uh, they have parked their cars on the top. Uh, they just don't know what to do, where to go. I mean, just imagine if someone is stuck inside the tunnel. Oof. I mean, you're dead. So, I don't wish anyone bad, but this is a nightmare. Yeah. Look at... It's a disaster. It's a serious disaster, man. Okay, so this was one. The next one is... Okay, this is inside a bus. Uh, they are not able to move. It seems the water is right up to the top and uh, they are just stuck here and uh, they can't go anywhere. So this was one video. There's another one. You can see how I... Just imagine if children are there or if they want to go to the toilet, how do you do it, man? And number four. And these are real. Huh? See, look at this. The car is completely submerged. Uh, this is a bus, by the way. And there are all these people and they are still sitting down and they don't know where to go. Uh, I mean, even if you walk out of the bus, there's water up to your, like, maybe neck. So what do you do? Where do you go? And uh, all they can do is ask for help and assistance. And I hope uh, these people got saved because this is serious, man. Oh, goodness. Okay, next one. This one is kind of disturbing. Just be careful. Viewer discretion advice. It seems this guy, they say he got electrocuted. Uh, that's what they are saying. But he's lying face down in the water, so he's dead. And I do not know if this is in UAE. Uh, but this is what is shown here. So he's face down means he's, he's dead. And last but not the least. Oh, sorry, not this one. Oh, one minute. Stop. Escape. Okay, stop this. And the final one is six. And once again, look at this. Can you believe this? This is a road. This is a bloody road. And look at the height of the water. Look at the cars. Is this the same guy on the bus? Uh, yeah, it's the same video. It's the same location. He's on top of a bus. And there are passengers with him on the bus. Uh, I just hope he called some SOS or some rescue team effort. See, see, there are people stuck on the bus. These are Russian tourists, I think. Chinese, Chinese tourists. And uh, yeah, well, what will they do now? They have to ask for help. So yeah, it's pretty much a nightmare for them. Look, cars. I hope someone comes and rescues them. Anyway, so this is the first one. So let's have a look at it. Uh, it seems some underground bus. This is Dubai, yes. This is definitely Dubai. And all these cars, these ones are stuck here and um, you're going to get damaged. But the other ones who are moving in this direction, I don't think they have a problem. So yeah, engine fail and uh, you'll have to cough up money and there are a lot of viewers who are watching. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Can I get the location here? Uh, it is Abu Dhabi, Jabal Ali, it says here, Port Said, Dera. So this must be one of those flyovers. Okay. So this was the first video and uh, yeah. Ah, I remember that building. I can see there. Can't get the name, man. 
Okay. Um, yeah, it's been ages since I was there. Okay. Second one. Let's see. Second one. And this is, yes, a water tank is, <laughs> water tank is actually miraculously floating away. So all the water and everything else has been sent. And this is one of the posh areas where a lot of people stay, I think, uh, villas. Yeah. Oh, this looks like a, a industrial area. So, yeah. So magic floating. Hey, look at this car. Hey, look at this. Where did it? Let me share it with you again. See, look at this car in here. Look at this dumb idiot, man. See this. Can you see this? He's still trying to go through the water. Are you dumb? Oh, my goodness. People will never learn. Okay, next video. Where's the next? Uh, here you go. Okay, and yeah, yeah. This one is comedy because this guy, I think this was Russell Kema or Umal Queen. Um, this local guy took his four-wheel drive and thought, yeah, I'm driving a four-wheel drive. Nothing is going to happen to me. Ha, ha, ha. I'll go in the water. And then he goes, then he goes, then he goes. And here, I think he falls into uh, a hole or something. And see, dip. his full engine is gone inside. He's bending. Now he's moving with the water because now it has taken. Now, finish. His engine is dead and he can't do anything. A little bit of screen dirt, if you clean that, yeah. And now, finished. He cannot move. You have to be a bloody idiot to go into such deep waters. Even if you have four-wheel drive, it is a machine. Now finish. His engine is stuck. He's, you know, in a hole. And that's all it takes. Well, congrats. Stupidity knows no bounds. Next one. Let's have a look at this one. Wait, let me, let me put it full screen so you guys can enjoy this. Number four. E oh, this was sent to me by Emirati. You can see the flood waters outside his villa. Just look at the way it's moving. I mean, they can't even go out. Everything would be eroded. And imagine if you had something park, parked over there. This is a disaster, man. Seriously, bad. Okay, next one. Let's go to number five. We'll stop this. Number five. Eee, sorry. Yeah, here you go. Okay, this one. This is also sent to me by Emirati. Um, I don't know which part is this. They spoke in Arabic in this video. Uh, you can see the devastation of the roads, the uh, devastation of everything that there is. I think there were some roads here. And it's completely wiped up. So you can see the seriousness of the situation. Yeah. And uh, let's go to the next video. Next one. What is this? Number six. <laughs> okay. This was also sent by uh, Emirati. You can see the flood waters. I think there are these service personnel who are here. This must be somewhere in Fujairah or something. You can see the cars washed, washed up. They're trying to take a rope and pull people out. A lot of these patans have been bought here. So pretty sad. I just hope that they are safe. By the way, there have been two deaths reported. One guy got swept away by the floods. Another guy who died due to electrocution. So be careful. Don't go out. So once again here, a lot of people are resisting. I'm sure they must be paid for. But you can see the seriousness of the flood. They're putting sandbags and they're taking a rope and trying to help out. They're really courageous folks, but uh, very dangerous. You can't take this one. You can see the car here, no? Vehicle. I think they're trying to help him and this person. So yeah, this was another one. Number eight is... Okay, this again sent to me by Emirati. It seems th these are roads which you could cross. But now you can't. And there is a house here. So they are trying to maybe get access to it or something. Maybe one of those large palaces. You can see thunder lightning. Yeah. So pretty much a disaster here as well. Looks like the sea is overflowed. And number nine. Okay. Once again, Umal Kuen or Rasul came out. Oh, short video. Not much. Okay. That is a very short video. Ah, this one is pretty shocking. This guy actually uh, saw this. Look at the devastation. Look at the devastation here. This 30 seconds video. Wait, let me pause and show you. Okay, he goes here, see, and then look at the devastation here. You can see this? See the number of cars? I'll play, play it a little slowly. You can see how many cars are stuck here. None of them can move. None of them can move. And this is Sheikh Zayed Road. And they are permanently stuck there. 
you can see this. Let me just pause it again and show you. This is a nightmare, man. Imagine you'll be stuck in the car. One guy actually told me 12 hours he was stuck in the car. I've been stuck in the car once, but I managed to make through. And uh, they'll have to get police and person. This is Sheikh Zayed Road. I know this. Uh, this is, I can't get the area name, man. But uh, Sheikh Zayed Road. Uh, I used to come here very frequently. So, yeah. So, this was pretty shocking. So, number 11. Uh, this is a series of videos made. And this was Karama. Let me show you again. This is Karama. You can see. Okay. Then, uh, wait. Then I'll show you another one. This one is, uh, this is Bird Dubai. Bird Dubai is also flooded. Bird Dubai, not that much, but in residential areas, you can't move. I've been to this area also. It's okay. unbelievable, man. I has to be in these areas. But I think if your car is outside, it's damaged for sure. Brings back old memories. Number 13, this is Jumeirah Village Circle. Completely destroyed. Look at this. Just look at this completely destroyed look at the dirt and the mud this car is gone this car is completely gone i really have to admire these guys who are helping out i mean you're trying to save jumeirah village circle can you believe this is supposed to be a posh area look at the dirt look at the mud oh goodness uh, number 14 town square dubai again a posh area no drainage this guy is going with the boat. Yeah. So when you have a posh area, you pay so much money and there's no drainage. <laughs> yeah, Dubai Sports City. Completely devastated, completely destroyed. It was never built properly in the first place and now people are paying the price for it. That is why they offered rents for cheap. So if your car is here, it's gone. And if you're staying there, it's even more harder. Next one is, this is Mankul area. Mankul area. You can see the cars that have been parked here. Uh, some people are enjoying walking. Good. Hope you enjoy a nice you know, time. Number 17. We're nearly coming to the end. So this is Od Meta Road. Still brave people going through the traffic. Uh, you really have to be brave to want to do that. Yes, some people are parked at the side. You can see these cabs. They are smart. The rest of them are dumb idiots. Look at this bus is going full speed. I think they just want to get away from traffic. Look at the traffic jam. Mm, they just want to go home, I guess. I see this guy is stuck there. So, wait, I'll just show you. Pause. He's stuck here. You can see this guy. These two guys stuck here. Yeah. Then uh, let me stop this. Last few, three more. At number eighteen, this is Dubai Design District. Yeah, you designed it well. That's why you see. Dubai Design District. These are the posh areas. See, no, uh, no sewage, no, sorry, no drainage. <laughs> Imagine for the people who got stuck here. You pay so much money. And by the way, there are no supermarkets. There's no place to go out. If you're stuck in the building, you're stuck there. You'll have to figure out a way to get out. Then what is this? JLT, posh area. Unbelievable. Look at this. The whole... Everything is flooded. The seawater has risen up. Can you believe this? This used to be like, this is supposed to be a posh area. Scary, man. Scary stuff. And it's still raining. And I'm pretty sure all the businesses, everything shut down. Imagine if it rains inside a building, then short circuit and all that. What do you do? Risky stuff. Okay. Then uh, last one, last if not the least. Uh, this one, I think, was in the shopping mall. Uh, yep, again, uh, another shopping mall. Now the cleaning process will start, which is not going to be easy. It's going to smell. The whole place is going to smell and stink. So they'll have to call all the cleaners and do this. Is, I think this is uh, Majid Al Futim. I saw the logo. I think I saw the logo. Wait. Yeah, logo was there of the G Majid Al Futim, I think. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, ah, yeah, it goes too fast, man. I can't get this. Oh, this must be some Ministry of Information. Okay. So I don't know which mall is this. If you have any idea, just let me know. So we'll put it a little fast. Okay. There are still people shopping. 
And you guys supposed to go home? Why are you shopping, man? Or did it rain when they came here? So people are still shopping. Go home. This is a very dangerous time to come out. And if you get stuck, then you can't go home. So I don't know. Maybe they were outside. And see, from the electrical, this thing, it's raining. Uh, short circuit. Baba, short circuit. Fire. Just imagine. Anyway, these were the videos that I just received. So yeah, I just hope you guys are staying safe. Be careful. And uh, if you have any dramatic videos or new ones, send it. I don't want to keep repeating the same old ones. All right. So good, bad, ugly, feel free. I hope you guys are staying safe. And um, my condolence to those who lost money in their, you know, damaged vehicles, property, especially businesses. You're not going to get reimbursed. So good, bad, ugly, feel free. Comment below. This is me signing off. Ciao.